Hello there and welcome back Cozy Club. As always, it is a beautiful day for some DSA. And let me tell you guys, Thursday was an absolute monster day for Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Not only did we get the brand new legendary Wreck-It Ralph, which we were expecting that coming this week, but we also had the developers of DSA come on my stream live on Twitch. They gave away a boatload of just ridiculous prizes. But on top of that, they were able to give us a sneak peek, if you will, into the future of DSA Phase 2. They talked about upcoming game modes, new uh, just quality of life and UI fixes, and then a bunch of little things that we're going to make just a whole video on that alone. But for today's video, I thought it was important to go ahead and talk about the brand new legendary Wreck-It Ralph and what my first impressions are on not only him as a legendary, but the event and the entire team. And without going into it too much, this is probably the best legendary team that we have seen as a whole since Big Hero 6. And that's saying a lot because Big Hero 6 was in the meta for... I don't know, forever. So Cozy Club, as you guys know, with every legendary that comes out, there's just a mass amount of testing that goes with it because legendary, the teams and the characters alone just change the game up entirely. So we've got a lot of testing to still do and there's probably a lot to find out. But with already just a lot of hours of just being able to play with this team, there's a lot to like and a lot to break down, but let's go ahead. I want to break down the event first, kind of talk about that, and then we'll go through each character quickly, talk about the synergies and what I really like about them and where I think they're going to excel massively in the future of DSA. All right, Cozy Club, but with all of that being said, there's a lot to cover. So let's go ahead. Let's jump right in and get started with today's video. Alright, Cozy Club, we're going to go ahead and jump into the game here, and you're getting your first look at the three brand new characters for the Wreck-It Ralph faction, and altogether, the new legendary event. Now, Shank and King Candy, we already did a review on them, so you can go check them out if you guys want to go check out that video and what our thoughts are. To save you some time, Shank is just not great at all. King Candy was going to be dependent on how these characters are. And it's looking on the up and up for the KC. Now, outside of that, we've got ourselves Wreck-It Ralph, the new legendary. We got Vanellope Von Sweets, or Glitch is what I'm going to be calling her in this video. And Fix-It Felix, and of course, Fix-It Felix lover, Sergeant Calhoun. Now, we already had Sergeant Calhoun. She got a heck of a lot better. But let's go ahead. Let's break down before we dive into these characters and talk about how you're going to go ahead and unlock them. Now, first and foremost, how are you going to unlock these characters? It's going to be within the side adventure campaign. You guys can go and unlock each character through that. And overall, there's been some controversy with unlocking and getting these characters in the first place for Wreck-It Ralph. Now, a lot of people anticipated you needing to have a T7 squad to get Wreck-It Ralph maxed out. But on top of that, they made a new requirement that I'm definitely not thrilled about. You need to have a four star spell level of golden hammer and sugar rush now both of those spells are really great spells altogether but to have a level four is just it's a ton of work and it puts a seven star way out of reach for any free to play the first time around i know you're going to the comment section now and saying it's bs and it's ridiculous and i completely hear you and i understand that i don't know why that the spells are being required and that's something I definitely don't want to see a trend of moving forward unless there's easy ways or easier ways to get spells moving in the future. Now, there are some new packs and they released. I think they gave everyone Sugar Rush to unlock with a new free costume and things like that. But I would like to see this probably not be a trend in the future. Now, what I will say about the entire event as a whole, first, the art team, they always kill it. But to go ahead and kind of hyper focus and the good news to take away, this isn't extra fluff. This is straight up great news. Wreck-It Ralph is going to be a lot like Elsa. You are not going to need a seven star Wreck-It Ralph to be able to use his kit entirely because Wreck-It is a big offense character that has this major KO move and then he supports the team a lot. Now I'm getting ahead of myself just a little bit and we'll get into all of that and how his kit works but I want to let you guys know if you can only get a five star he's going to get the job done and again I'm going to say this with a good amount of confidence with very little gameplay first impressions the entire Wreck-It Ralph team is looking like one of the best set of legendary characters that we've gotten as a whole. So all the other characters are really great. 
You're going to want Wreck-It Ralph, or you're going to need Ralph to make the entire team solid. But even at five stars, he should be able to get his job done. Okay, Cozy Club, so what makes him such a solid legendary team? They don't have a leadership ability, but there's a whole lot of synergy going on with them. And altogether, they really don't even need a leadership. We're going to talk about the best teams that I'm seeing early on, but they don't need it. And that's because you've got two powerful duos with the team with Ralph and Vanellope or Glitch having very strong synergy. And then, of course, Fixit Felix, who's a premier healer now within DSA and Sergeant Calhoun. Now, King Candy and Shank, they're a little bit left out. King Candy does work. Typically, Baymax, Hercules, you're going to want to plug someone else in there for the most part. But those strong two duos is what really takes this team to the next level. So let's go ahead and talk about each character a little bit and what makes them very solid. Now, I am about to head out of town for a couple of days. But when I come back, we're going to have full in-depth guides on all of these characters, including Glitch and just the overall synergy that they share as a team. Now, this is the first impressions. So let's give a quick rundown of what I think of them starting with ralph the legendary the quick kind of cliff notes on this guy now i did a lot of testing with him at five stars first and we did a good amount of testing a few battles and he was able to hold on very strong and actually do his role very well now first and foremost the reason because he doesn't need to be this massive seven star unit is he's all about support his basic attack is going to be purging the enemy a ton, which is great. You don't really have to worry about the damage there. He's going to be getting rid of all those buffs on the field. He's got an incredible special that this is really kind of what shines with him outside of his big, sexy one-hit KO. This is the reducing the magic. If you guys can see here, reduce magic of a random ability by one for each effect purged on a target. So pretty much to break this down, this isn't really meant for the damage. That's why the star levels don't matter all too much. The stars are going to really help to keep him alive because he is an offensive unit. But altogether, guys, reducing magic, you're going to be able to shut down your opponents with Ralph because they're not going to be able to use their great abilities. And you want him to be a little bit on the slow side. But we'll get to the stones here in a second. Very solid ability here. He's going to be able to support the team very well. And this is all going to build him up to game over. And just from, you know, I don't know, four of these clips here, check it out. This is why it's called game over. You guys can see from these video, the video footage that we're looking at here, just how much he is able to one shot beast Baymax Hercules, which is uh, a cozy special love mm, chef's kiss. Just taking down Hercules over and over. This ability, the damage this thing can do is absolutely insane. It's going to stack per helpful effect. You're going to be able to purge invulnerable, which is going to shut down Hercules. This is your Hercules get out of jail free card, if you will. With Hercules, typically, you have to be safe. You have to make sure that you don't build him up to heroism and get him all heroic, and then you're dead. With Ralph, you can afford to because Ralph is going to take more turns. He's going to build this up, and it's game over for the character that's been bothering so many people. And that's what makes him special. You only need him at a five star because he's gonna support the team with these two. Game over for the big hit, even at low star levels. A big purge and altogether an incredible ability. Now, again, we're gonna do the whole kind of talk about him later on. His passives are very solid as well. And we've talked about this before on my stream. Uh, if you guys haven't, come stop on by the Cozy Club. We do plenty of just DSA, but we do trivia, Disney, ranking. We do everything there. So go ahead, check the description below if you want to check us out. But altogether, guys, Ralph is a legendary. And whether it's Elsa or Mickey that can't be dead in one turn because they kind of do an effect, or Beast and Hercules who passively gain turn meter, Ralph is going to be the same, but he's going to be able to kind of be a little better than the legendaries because he's not going to get countered by Herc or give Beast turn meter because he's not gaining speed meter, he's gaining full turns once he hits these certain thresholds. So Ralph altogether, Perk took a little bit of time to find him really solid. Ralph is just a home run hit right out of the gate. Stupid solid stats, very fast, high offense, great crit, great power. The entire, his entire kit is just dang solid. And we haven't even got to test him with a bunch of different teams. now. I will tell you guys this, if you did invest in him and you got him at a five-star unlock, 
most likely you're going to want to rock with a speed stone on him you want to make sure he's slower on the field but you're not going to be able to capitalize on his brute strength until he's brought up from the six and the seven star which is why I have an offense stone on him, but Speedstone should get the job done for a five star. So yes, don't worry. We've got a lot of videos that are gonna come out on Ralph. That's kind of the cliff notes. And we can't talk about Ralph without talking about his little tiny duo counterpart, Vanellope or Glitch, guys. Now, why are they a duo and what makes her very strong? Probably, here's the cool thing. Each and every one of them, uh, Fix It Felix, Vanellope here, and Ralph all have something that are really unique. And Vanellope might be one of the most fun characters that we have had in like a very long time. Now, first and foremost, stupid fast. I mean, when I'm talking about stupid fast, she's gonna have incredible, incredible speed. Her passive is gonna give her speed. She's gonna get speed a lot of different ways. So one of the fastest characters in the game and she reminds me a lot like Merida, where she kind of feels like she's playing a solo player game. She's not really worried about the other characters on the field. And that's why they don't need a leadership. They all share so much synergy. And that's going to start with Glitch. Now, again, she's going to have her own video, if you will. She's going to have sweet mechanics built in. But everything around Vanellope is going to be built around her passive high score. And I got to give it to the devs on this one really unique and they capture Vanellope absolutely perfectly with how this passive works the entire match you're trying to do things like deal critical strikes take down enemies deal effects have wreck it ralph characters go and you're going to go ahead and start earning the score and that's what Vanellope always wants is to get more and more score now on top of that you can get up to 80 score it's going to go even higher at gear 9 and with her score she does different things with each and every ability. Now, first and foremost, she's going to be gaining 2% speed per 10 uh, score. So that's 8, 16% speed once she has that under her belt. And then all of her abilities here are going to gain something extra. Now, first, she's going to get 4% bonus evasion per 10 score. So that's 30%, uh, 32% bonus evasion. She's going it, to, it's so much that every move, every passive only gets better the longer she's on the battlefield. And there's so many threats with this team, you really can't even concentrate on her. And if you do, you're gonna give Ralph turns over and over because once Vanellope dips below a health threshold, Ralph is gonna wreck it, baby, and get more and more turn meter. Now, on top of that, she's got very solid specials. The Candy Cane can hit some really powerful damage, especially those with Sweeten to pair up well with Mr. King Candy. And on top of that, deal 1% bonus damage per one score. So that's gonna go up 80% bonus damage at the end of the match. And then also this guy. This ability is one that you wanna hang on to in the battle. And this is why I really like not only Glitch, but also Fix It Felix. Both of them, including Ralph, all have these, it's like a video game. They all have these abilities that are gonna kind of build up over the battle. And if you don't take care of them, it's over. So for this one, you can use it right away, but you're gonna be able to reduce speed meter of each opponent by only 1% per two score on her. So 80 scores the max, that's up to a 40% AOE takedown with Vanellope. So yes, overall between Ralph getting turns and Vanellope building up some nice specials and good damage, they are a very solid pair with high survivability and just she's really hard to kill and annoying, frankly, just like the movie. Lastly, we have Fixit Felix and this guy, many are calling the winner of the patch or the secret sauce of the patch. And one thing I'll say is each of these characters, they're going to be phenomenal in the raid. And so much so when we do the farming guide, I'm really going to have to think where to put them in your farming priority. They are more downtown heroes that aren't that special, but what they can add to your team with the synergy is bonkers. Now, Fix it, Felix here. He's got the lovely Golden Hammer. He has extra synergy with Golden Hammer and with Calhoun and the other Wreck It Ralph teammates. But this is looking like one of the best healers in the game. Now, Baymax, Corella, they heal in different ways. Fix it, Felix is the first just straight up. He is there to get the job done, heal his teammates, cleanse them. That's it. Now, true to the movie, he does have his companion, Sergeant Calhoun. And of course, they're going to work better together. But if we're just looking at him, he is going to be an absolutely crucial 
plug and play for the forbidden depths in the raids moving forward he's going to be able to heal so much damage and so many harmful effects on the battlefield and in the forbidden depths looking at his overall kit his basic he's going to be able to heal call people to assist and get rid of harmful effects that are going to stop him from doing his job if we look at i can fix it this is going to be great he can essentially have a bunch of chances to heal up wreck it ralph teammates heal up any teammates and cleanse harmful effects but like we were talking about kind of his super move while he's just doing his thing on the battlefield is going to be his special fix it felix and guys felix is fixing it so yes just like vanellope and ralph this is going to start on a major cooldown which is what this is all about right do you kill ralph first do you kill fix it if you throw hercules in there how are they going to deal with all of these different things and threats on the field and once this has happened it's just you're gonna win them it's just such a great solid move you're gonna be able to heal all of your teammates you're gonna be able to cleanse a bunch of harmful effects and then on top of that if the teammate is wreck it ralph they're gonna be able to go ahead and i don't know get harmful immunity critical immunity defense up they can get crit immunity for two turns and more and more healing so once this has happened if it happens you're done you're gonna probably win the battle his passive is great and it's gonna be able to provide a lot of healing as well just randomly depending on the damage and overall fix it felix when paired up with calhoun it's gonna be a huge threat but honestly just one of the better plug and plays within the game all right kelsey club so first impressions I'm going to say two thumbs way the heck up for this legendary event. Now, first and foremost, Sergeant Calhoun. A lot of you guys have had time to farm her. You can grab her in the Sorcerer Exchange. You can get them from their side missions. And then on top of all this, Wreck-It Ralph is going to be a great character at five star. And then you can slowly work your way to seven star. So big thumbs up there. Most of the characters have great usability outside of, again, Shank, which we can go ahead. We might be able to find something there. And the teams that you can build don't require a lot of extra effort outside of the team that you're farming for the legendary events. Now, just the first few hours, we've discovered a lot of great teams, and there's going to be a lot more to come after this. But this is going to be kind of the Wreck-It Ralph team if you're going to run it just with just the characters alone. And this thing was able to take on easily full maxed out those legendary teams like Beast, Hercules, Hero, Baymax. We were continually taking them out with ease. But some of the other teams outside of just them, again, you've got the duo ship, the duo ship, and then King Candy and Vanellope's duo ship. There's just a lot of synergy and they don't need a leader. I mean, you're definitely going to want to use a lead, but they don't need it now to go ahead and end this video i'm gonna go and talk about my favorite teams that i have found thus far i'm gonna try to find a way to plug them in with villains i'm still convinced that eve is gonna be able to have some nice synergy with calhoun pocahontas though with her leadership is by far right now my favorite lead with that really extra bonus offense to bring up glitch to bring up ralph to really get the entire team punching up high but if i'm going to talk about my favorite absolute teams that i've found so far these are going to be the two of them now first and foremost this is the team this team is utter dominating and of course it has a bunch of legendaries but you're able to kind of pull some of these out you can take out i had anna instead of hercules you can put glitch in there or fix it felix and the reason this team is going to be so dominant is you've got the great leadership with poka that's a catch-all kind of hero leadership elsa is going to get massive damage ralph massive damage hercules or any of the other ones you want to plug in massive damage or high support and then baymax is there for the overall support this team is 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 i'm already i'm already writing it down this is one of my favorite teams currently outside of villains definitely the one that i'm going to really spend my time in pvp and using it throughout different game modes so yes there's still a lot of teams to be discovered but one of these other fun teams that i have found is going to be a maurice led team and that's mainly to get Ralph and Vanellope or Fix-It Felix getting those cooldowns lowered for their Super Saiyan Spirit Bomb attacks and going to go ahead and try to get that magic reduced. Now, for that reason, I'm really enjoying Conjuring Cauldron with this team because everybody's kind of getting a bonus from it. You're getting all their big abilities kind of lowered down and Maurice is a perfect fit for that. Now, on top of that, he is going to be an offense character, which is going to make Maurice able to give him devil crits. It's just working out really well, and you can get more cauldrons out on the field. 
And for once, Raup wants the counters. He wants to get down low on health to get those instant turns. And Cozy Club, that is going to be it for my first impressions on the new legendary group. Now again, without hesitation, start farming these characters. You're going to get massive use out of these three in particular with Sergeant Calhoun being very solid and easy farm. And altogether, you're just, you're not going to regret getting them. They're going to be a great add-in. They've got strong plug and play ability and Ralph and their stats and everything combined makes for very solid units in every single game mode. We could go on forever on this video. I'll go ahead and cut it here and we've got a lot more coming. I'm going to be heading out to Nashville, but I will be back next week and we've got a ton of videos to break down a look into dsa so my friends again thank you guys so much feel free to join the cozy club it's absolutely free to join today we've got 13,000 people and growing and guys we've got a lot of videos to come including the future of dsa so my friends stay cozy as always and we'll see you next time oh and for meathead stay juicy